Welcome to our roundup of the best camera backpacks. We've categorized our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven best camera backpacks into different categories and use cases. There's no clear winner because everyone has different photography needs and what might work really well for someone with a long wide life photography lens is not gonna work for someone who just does pictures of people. I'm Tav. I'm the dude who's usually behind the camera here at Nomad's Nation, and today we have swapped with Aaron. Nice thumb, mate. <laughs> <laughs> These guys here have been collecting at Nomad's Nation HQ for over a year at this point, and I've had plenty of opportunities to play with each and every one of these. Therefore, it should be obvious I'm not just reading this off an Amazon best shopping list. Also, each of these backpacks has their own individual review, which you can find in the description below. But before we get started, let's talk a real quick chat about backpack theory. What makes a really good camera backpack? I've broken it down into four categories. Firstly, you gotta have protection. It needs to keep your camera stuff safe. Secondly, you need to have good access to get your camera gear. Thirdly, it needs to be comfortable to wear. And number four is what I call stealth. It means it's not too obvious that it's a camera bag. Now, I wanna say, any backpack can be a camera backpack. Like, look at this. Got my camera. Just gonna wrap it in a towel for protection. And... Camera backpack. So, is this camera safe? Does it have excellent access? Well, no, I have to open it up, dig it out, unwrap the towel and rewrap the towel every time. Is it comfortable? Is the camera against my back? Not so much. But is it great for stealth? Oh my god, yes, it's so good for stealth. But if you want something that's a bit more professional, these are the best options. Let's get started. I'm gonna go from the biggest to the smallest, starting with, I need to make a documentary about Arctic foxes. This is called the Wandered Fernway. Fernway. Now, while most of this bag is made for trekking, the middle of this bag is made to hold camera gear and can go from a small amount of gear to a pretty substantial amount. Let me show you. So you got to unzip this here. So you see this thing here? This is where you're supposed to fit the camera cube. This is the medium camera cube, and this can fit a DSLR and four lenses easily. Let me show you the inside. So as you can see, the camera cube here is really well padded. It comes with your standard Velcro stuff and these little elastic -y rubber bands to stop your gear from falling out. This bag also has a quick draw camera access here on the side where you can get quick access to your camera cube. You know, in case you're in the Arctic and you're like, oh, there's a fox. Ah, uh, it's gone. You missed the fox, Dad. You missed the fox. So protection is 10 out of 10. I've been using Wander camera cubes basically even on their own and they are just excellent and uh, I believe in it. I love it. Nothing has ever broken on me. Protection is solid. For access, I give this bag a 7 out of 10. As I said, you're not gonna swing 30 kgs around your side. Comfort is 10 out of 10. These shoulder strap heights are adjustable. This is padded as hell. Look, this is a pillow, man. Look, you can sleep on this. As far as stealth goes, that doesn't apply because there's no one else to hide from in the Arctic. Let's talk about pros and cons. Pro number one, weatherproof as bleep. Pro number two, comfortable as bleep. Con number one, this is a very niche backpack and not everyone's gonna need a 60 liter Arctic snow carrying thing. It's just, it's very niche. And con number two, it's kind of heavy as you would expect with a metal frame inside and a lot of padding, it's gonna weigh you down a little bit. So if this backpack piques your interest, scroll down to the video description below where you'll find a link to our full review. Next up, the I'm going to my client's office to take photos backpack. The McKinnon meets Nomadic camera backpack. Look at this. Oh. To give you an example of scale, this is Canon 7D old dinosaur with a 135mm lens on it. And then you put it here. So what are you going to use all of this for? Spare lenses, lights, mini tripods? Okay, if you got gear to bring to somewhere for a shoot, this guy will bring it. Suppose you need to stay overnight on that shoot. This is your clothing section. Socks and undies go here. Hoodie and jacket goes here. Couple of spare shirts in the mesh compartments and you're done. Firstly, access and give it seven out of 10. This is gonna be basically full of steel and glass and you're not gonna be swinging it around. You're gonna be putting it down, opening it up and accessing your gear this way. For protection, I give this bag a solid 10 out of 10. This is a hard shell and it's also padded at the same time. Nice work, Nomadic. So for comfort, I give this guy a solid seven out of 10. The shoulder pads are a little bit hard on the first try when you first wear it. The back panel is a little bit hard. 
but you'll get used to it. I have faith in you. It should be fine. And as far as stealth goes, no one's gonna think this is a camera backpack, dude. It looks different, it looks good, but not like a camera bag. Maybe a golf bag. And that's why I give this a solid 10 out of 10 for stealth. So let's talk about the pros and cons. Pro number one, it's waterproof. Lots of waterproof zippers. Pro number two, it's expandable. So if you need an extra five liters of space for your clothes and stuff, you have it. Let's talk about some cons though. Con number one, the straps are a little bit too hard for my taste, especially around the edge here. I'm not a fan of these things. Con number two, this guy scratches pretty easily. You can see the material itself. You got one here, you got one here. But look at the side, you got like a bunch of scratches here. And this has not been used heavily. So if you're thinking of buying it and reselling it, it's probably not gonna happen. So if the Nomadic X McKinnon backpack caught your interest, you can find our full review in the description right below. Next up, I'm going to Zakopane for a weekend and I wanna take some street photography of those really nice pointy houses over there. Meet the Boundary Supply Prima System. This guy has enough capacity for a weekend trip. It's small enough to be brought carry-on on a flight. The look of it is gorgeous. I love this Indiana Stones. Jones. Indiana Stone. Indiana <laughs> I love the look of this. It has this Indiana... <laughs> he can't say it. I love the look of this. It has the Indiana Jones look. You got it. Thank yeah. God. With the brown and the black and then the straps hanging off the side. It looks really... It looks a lot like this... Um, Adventure style. Again, with the quick side axis, it's held in place with these uh, button things. And I wouldn't say the security of this is great because when I close this, the camera cube stays open and it's kind of floppy on the inside. But when you get to your hostel, you rip this guy out. So you take your camera cube out of your bag, you take the waist strap off your bag and you can attach it to the back of here and bring this guy out on its own. And in case you don't like this look, all you do is slide the waist strap through the back and you have a fanny pack. Sexy. Glorious. Who doesn't love a good fanny pack? For protection, I give this backpack a 7 out of 10. Remember, protection means padding and this doesn't really have a lot of padding. It has some, but it's not on the same level as, for example, the McKinnon or the Wonder. For access, I give this bag a 5 out of 10. Why? Because there's this double zip thing, it feels kind of weird, loosey-goosey, and these can come off, and it's not a great fan of it. For comfort, I give this bag an 8 out of 10. Yes, it's a bit hard, but it's hard in a comfortable way, if that makes sense. As far as stealth goes, the backpack gets a solid 10 out of 10. You're not gonna guess that there's a camera in here, but... Once you take the camera cube out, that stealth factor goes straight down to zero. You may as well be carrying a camera with you, on its own, in your hands. Alright, time for some pros and cons. Pro number one, it looks glorious. I love the way this looks. The Indiana Jones vibes, get me right here, right here. And another pro, there is a lot of modular features. Let me see if I can actually dig out some from the top there. Ah, look, didn't even talk about this. This is the old field space. This is like an office that you bring with you. There's so many modules and things that can fit into things and some people are going to absolutely love that. But let's talk about the cons. Number one, the amount of modules. It's a pro and a con at the same time. Now, while having lots of different options might be great for some people, I personally feel like it overcomplicates this backpack. And actually, that's the only con I have for this. Everything else is pretty on point. If you wanna try to find your own cons, you can watch the full review, which I have put in the video description below the video here. Next up is our... I'm going to do wildlife photography for a day, but I also want an everyday carry. Meet the Wonder Duo. So take a look at the inside. Voila! Over here we have some uh, lens pockets. They're really well padded. Can fit lenses and other things. There is lots of organization for cables and things on the side. On the top here, this is a great spot for SD cards and batteries. If you're wondering, why is this big lump here? Well, this, guys, this is where your camera goes into. Open it up like this. You see this? Let's try the old 7D. No problem. But what if you're not out taking photos and you're just going to work or something? Wouldn't this big cube get in the way? Well, of course. And wonder thought of that. What you do? Unbelt through these guys, pull them on the inside and go, boom, and it's gone. Wow. Ooh, so sick, man. Time for a score. Access, 
9 out of 10. Look at this side, it's, like, it's so easy to get in and out, perfect. But the waterproofness of the zippers kind of makes it a little bit more difficult to open. As far as protection for your camera gear goes, I give it a 7 out of 10. This camera cube is good, but I think it could be better. But the lens holders are fantastic. I just wish that they were a little bit deeper, perhaps. As far as comfort, I give it a 7 out of 10. The back panel is quite rigid. And so are the shoulder straps, but they are quite malleable, so they're not uncomfortable, but they're not the most cloud-like experience that you could experience. As far as stealth goes, I give it another 10 out of 10. This does not look like a camera bag at all. It looks like a bag for a diver. So let's talk about the pros and cons. Pro number one, 100% can be used on camera days and non-camera days, evenly. It's quite rare. Pro number two, this thing is waterproof as hell. But let's talk about some cons. Con number one, this bag is matte black and it's airtight. It gets really hot in there on sunny days. And con number two, I know this is a personal thing, but these are a little bit too close for my comfort. It kind of pinches my neck a little bit here. If you're one of those people with an extra girthy neck, you may want to take a look at the full review. And uh, there's a link to that in the description below. Next up, I call this one the I do street photography backpack. This is the Peak Design Everyday Zip. You can't have a camera backpack review without mentioning Peak Design in it. Because similarly to the Wonder, this guy has this really nice side axis here. It has a very nice, very clear view of everything that goes on inside the bag. You got card pockets over here. And these flex fold dividers turn into little cubbies, shelf things, so you can put spare lenses back here and fold it up. Another benefit for photographers are these external lashes. Let's go there. This and clicks into place. You can use these things to carry your tripod, which probably is not going to fit inside here. You can also carry your gorilla pod, any other uh, like reflectors, things like that. And you can attach these guys on the top here or on the bottom here. Time to give this guy a score. Firstly, access 10 out of 10. Look at this. You get everything I need with one zip. Fantastic. Next up, the protection. Now, I give this guy a 6 out of 10. These flex fold dividers, I find that they are not very good at holding my precious lenses in place. They always tend to wobble around a little bit. Let's say I put it in the middle here. Listen. Ah! Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that, was, that wasn't on purpose even. So yeah, this is why I give it a 6 out of 10. Um, yeah. As far as comfort goes, I give it a 10 out of 10. Yes, the back panel is a little bit hard, but it's very well ventilated. And the shoulder straps are malleable and they fit your shoulders really well. As far as stealth goes, I give this guy a 3 out of 10. And this is because Peak Design is a famous company. And when you walk around with a Peak Design backpack, everyone assumes that you have like 10 grand worth of camera gear inside. Pros and cons. Pro number one, I think this thing is beautiful. The leather accents here and here, the material choices, even the zipper pulls is just mwah. Well done. Pro number two, excellent organization for photography. Filters, batteries, SD cards, camera, other stuff, lenses, everything is really well organized. Pro number three, this can also be used as a normal everyday backpack. But let's talk about the cons. Con number one, everyone knows that there's camera gear in here. And con number two, these flex fold dividers to me feel a little bit insecure. Does the Peak Design Everyday Zip Backpack pique your interest? You can find a link to our full review in the description. Next up, the I've changed my mind and I don't want a backpack anymore. I want to have a messenger bag. Peak Design Everyday Messenger. This guy can be used as an everyday carry messenger, as well as a camera sling. The dividers on the inside are really good for dividing up your camera gear. Suppose you want to put a lens this time on the bottom here. Close this guy over and make a little shelf. And then you can put your camera here and you can put whatever everyday carry stuff you have on the side. I especially love these two pockets here. This one's a gener generic throw all for things like your phone, wallet. But this one here has all the organization you would need for some SD cards and or batteries. Time to talk about scores. Access, I give it a full 10 out of 10. Look at this. 
There's your camera. Super easy. As far as protection goes, I'll give it another 10 out of 10. Because it's not like your lens is going to go anywhere outside of the bag. And on top of that, the padding of this thing feels a lot more substantial than padding on the everyday zip. Maybe because it's a smaller bag, maybe it's the same padding, but it feels stronger. As far as comfort goes, I give it a 7 out of 10. This is just because messengers are never going to be as comfortable as backpacks. And as far as stealth goes, I give this guy a 7 out of 10. It's still recognizable as a peak design, but it doesn't pop as much as the everyday zip does. Alright, it's time to talk about the pros and the cons. First, let's talk about the pros. I really like this pocket. I really like this card holder on top. You put your cards and everything here, perfect reach of your camera gear. Pro number two. The Peak Design Everyday Messenger, as well as the sling, have these external lash points, just like the backpack. And these have really come in handy so many times. The external carries on this are excellent. But let's talk about the cons. The only con that I could really come up with is that these flex fold dividers are still a little bit wobbly and my gear does not feel 1 million percent safe there, but it's still better than the Peak Design Everyday backpack and the zip. If you would like to learn more about either of these, there are links in the video description below and those links go to our full reviews. Next up is our I am going for a few beers with some friends and I want to bring a camera just in case I want to take some pictures. One camera with the lens attached. This is the Nomadic Navigator 6 liter sling. If you're going to carry a phone, a wallet, keys, a camera and nothing else, this is absolutely perfect because when you slide this around everything is accessible right in front of you i really like how well it opens up i can access everything from here i can put my camera down in the bottom it's not very padded because again it's not a camera bag and this is my personal favorite this is when i go out and i want to take some pictures but i'm not sure if i do or what do i take pictures of bring one camera one lens and go live my life Time to give this guy a score. Number one, access. I rate this guy 10 out of 10 because it takes me two movements to get my camera. One, two, three. Okay, yes, no, okay, I can't count, fine. For protection, I give this guy a six out of 10. It is a hard shell, but there is no padding on the inside. For comfort, I give this guy an eight out of 10 because it actually sits on your back and it has decent ventilation on the back panel. And as far as stealth goes, I also give this guy an 8 out of 10. It's clearly not a camera bag when it sits on your back, but it's weird and it's gonna catch some attention. Looks like a turtle. So it's time to talk about some of the pros and cons. Pro number one, everything is really well organized and accessible. And pro number two is this little guy. And you're like, what is this dude? This is a water bottle slash umbrella holder on the side. It's super functional. I don't want my wet umbrella in my bag and I don't want to carry it. Also, it's big enough to fit like a water bottle. It's perfect. But let's talk about some of the cons. Con number one, this sling does not switch orientations. It is a this way sling. If you want it to go this way, it doesn't go. It only goes this way. And con number two is this little fabric thing over here. This means when the bag is packed out, it kind of pokes into your chest a little bit. It's not painful, but it's definitely noticeable. Would you like to learn more about the Nomadic Navigator 6 liter sling? Well, you can. There's a video link in the description below this video. And at the end of that, we'll give you suggestions for alternatives. And then you can go down the rabbit hole of backpacks and slings and stuff. Welcome to the Watch to the End Club. I'm sure I've really annoyed some of you. And if I did, please leave your comment below so I can read it and maybe even respond. If I missed some of your favorite camera backpacks, please do let me know because obviously in Omas Nation we don't have every backpack in the world so we'll know what to get next and what to review. And you've been awesome. I've been Tav, you've been watching Nomaz Nation and uh, maybe I'll catch you in the next one. Peace! Oh, We're done! Shit, Sean with the strong sign off!